Hey there, it's Kaylee. In this lesson, we're going to talk about doing math with the different units for liquid volume. In the United States, we use four main units to measure the volume of liquids, like milk or water. They are gallons, quarts, pints, and cups. Here we have them ordered from the largest volume to the smallest volume. Now let's review how these units compare to each other numerically, meaning with values. There are two cups in one pint. There are two pints in one quart. And there are four quarts in one gallon. We've been using this chart to help us remember how these volumes relate to each other. But what if we want to know a bigger number, like how many cups are in a gallon? Let's find out by working with a table. So we're going to fill this table in here that starts with numbers of cups, and we're going to find how many pints, how many quarts, and how many gallons are in that same number of cups. So let's start with this first one here. It says two cups and we want to find out how many pints are in two cups. We know that from our chart over here. We know two cups is equal to one pint. Okay, so let's go down now. Now we have four cups. If I have four cups, how many pints do I have? Well, let's see. If I had another two cups here, I would have another pint. So I would have two pints total. Now, do you see a pattern between the number of cups and the number of pints between these two here? Yeah, it looks like the number of cups divided by two is equal to the number of pints. If we have two divided by two, we get one. If we have four divided by two, we get two. Now, let's say we had eight cups. Well, if I know the number of cups divided by two is gonna equal the number of pints, eight divided by two is equal to four. And now if I had 16 cups, if I divide 16 by two, I get my number of pints. 16 divided by two is eight. So we know that there is a factor of two that is different between cups and pints. Now let's go to the next one. Let's go pints to quarts. So let's start with the one we know. We know that two pints is equal to one quart. So in my table where it says I have two pints, that one is equal to one quart. Now, what if I had four pints, like it says in my table? Well, if I had four pints, I'd have another set up here, and then I would have another quart. So if I had four pints, I would have two quarts. Now, do you see a pattern between the number of pints and the number of quarts? It looks like it's the same as this, the pattern between cups and pints. My number of pints divided by two is equal to my number of quarts. Four divided by two is equal to two. So if I had eight pints and I divided that by two, I would have four quarts. And now if I only had one pint and if I divide one by two, that will give me half of a quart. Okay, now let's go quarts to gallons here. We can start with the one we know. We know that four quarts is equal to one gallon. But what if I only had two quarts? So if I had half the number of quarts, I would have half of a gallon. So this one will be a half. Now do you see any patterns here? It might be easier to look at this bottom one. Four divided by what is equal to one? Yeah, four divided by four. So that's the factor of difference between quarts and gallons. If I take the number of quarts and I divide it by four, I get the number of gallons. So if I had over here just one quart, I would have a quarter or one fourth of a gallon. And oops, I forgot to write my four there. And if I have half of a quart, so if I have just this half up here, I'm gonna divide that by four. And this one might be a little bit trickier. 
if we take one half and we divide it by four, that is the same as saying one half as a fraction times one fourth. So making this into a fraction. And then I multiply across, I have a one on the top and I have an eight on the bottom. It's okay if this is tricky for you, if you haven't learned how to divide with fractions yet. But this will be equal to an eighth of a gallon. So now if we look at our chart here, or our table here, now I can see how many gallons is equal to the number of cups, or how many cups are in a gallon. So if I look here at my one gallon here, if I go over to my cups, column, I know that one gallon is equal to 16 cups. Now let's say if I wanted to convert from one quart, I can say one quart is equal to four cups. So I can use a table like this to help me convert between two units that are farther apart than just cups to pints or pints to quarts. Great job building out this table. Now practice what you've learned by doing the online games and quizzes. Have fun and remember to always be clever. Hey, hey.